So in our first JavaScript lesson, we learned about variables and we learned about the first two types, which is the number and string. And there's really only six or eight types in JavaScript, depending on how you look at it. So they're not going to go on and on forever. But before we get into the next types, I want to show you some extra programming tips or some extra ways that you can build programs with the types that you already know. Let's say that my user's age is 16 years old. And I want to write a program to where if they're less than 16, it's going to alert that they can't drive. If they're older than 16, uh, it's going to alert that they can drive. How would I do that? Uh, we're going to do that with an if statement. So I'm going to do if, and I'm going to open and close my parentheses again. And I'm going to open and close my curly braces. Now for this, I'm going to want to do multiple lines. So you're going to want to hold Control or Shift, depending on if you're on Mac or Windows. And then it's going to allow us to do multiple lines of code here, and it won't run until we hit Enter. So I can go, if age is less than, remember that sign from math class? I'll, show, I'll talk about it more in a minute. Alerts, you cannot drive. So this is a less than symbol. It's called a comparison operator. Um, and basically, because the littler side points over here, if the age is littler than 16, or if it's less than 16, then we are going to do what is ever in between these curly braces. Basically, if the question we ask in here is true, then we're going to do what's between the curly braces. If it's not true, we're going to ignore what's in between the curly braces. So right now, my age is 16, and I've said if age is less than 16, then alert, I cannot drive. It didn't do anything at all because my age is 16 or greater. So if I change age to 15 and run it again, I hit the up arrow a couple times. Uh, one great thing about the console is your up and down arrows will give you all your history. So I hit the up arrow a couple times and hit enter. Now it says I cannot drive because my age has changed to 15. Let's look at some more comparison operators real quick. I'm going to pull that up again. Uh, there's the less than and then there's greater than, so this would be if age is greater than 16. And then I can also add an equals to either of those. And this means, is it greater than or equal to 16? So greater than 16 would be 17 and up. Greater than equal would be 16 and up. Less than would be 15 and under. Less than an equal would be 16 or under. So 16 is also included in the group. I can also do two equals for is exactly 16. And then I can also do not equal for is not 16. So if your age is not 16, you cannot drive doesn't make any sense. But that's kind of how you do that. I will put these in the description because you'll, you might forget them and you might, might want to remember them. So if your age is, let's go back to our program. If your age is less than 16, alert you cannot drive. Let's say I want to say alert you can't drive. This is going to be a little rabbit trail, but it's important to notice. Uh, there's a problem with this code because I'm opening up my string here with a single quote and then I'm ending it here, but I'm actually not ending it here. I'm ending it here. So that's actually going to give an error. This will not work. And so what if you want to add a single quote inside of or an apostrophe inside of a string? Well, you have two choices. You can either go to double quotes here. And so now that's going to work. Um, or what you can do is you can do what's called escaping it with a backslash. The, back the backslash in a string says, whatever the next character is, don't treat it as code, treat it as a string character. So this will work. Now it's going to be Y-O-U space C-A-N apostrophe T drive. So let's hit that and you'll see it says you can't drive with an apostrophe. And so that's called escaping. That's important. Uh, to know. I know it's kind of a rabbit trail, kind of off the beaten path of where we're going, but that's important. So let's go. If age is less than 16, alert you can't drive. If age is greater than 16, alert you can drive. And an exclamation because driving is fun. There's a problem with our program though is what if the user is 16? So if it's less than 16, it'll do this. If they're older than 16, like 17, then it'll do that, but what if they're exactly 16? Well, let's fix that by going less th greater than equal. So now if you're 16 or older, you can drive. So now our program will always alert something. Let's change my age to 17. You also notice I didn't do VAR anymore. That's because I've already defined the variable of age. You only have to do VAR the first time. 
age equals 17. And let's run our program again. It says you can drive. Now let's change our age to 16 and make sure that our program works. Age 16, yep, you can drive too. Let's go one more step further with our program. And what you can actually do is you can make this go else. Let's clean this up a little bit. What you can do instead of if if is you can do what's called an if else statement. I can say if age is less than 16, do this. Else, we're going to do this. So basically, if you're not younger than 16, we're going to do what's in here every single time. So this program will do the exact same thing. You can also do an if else, an else if statement. So what that would do is you can add another condition. You can do another set of comparison operations in here. So if the age is less than 16, do this. Else, if age is exactly 16, you can drive finally. Else, which would mean if they're older than 16, alert, you've probably been driving already. And you'll notice once again, I have to escape that because that's not allowed. I would have been closing this off with why are you apostrophe and this would have just been bad code. So now if our age is less than 16, we're going to do this. Else, if our age is exactly 16, we're going to do this. And if it's anything besides that, we're going to alert that you've probably been driving already. And so my age currently is 16. You can drive finally. Let's change our age to 15. Run our program. You can't drive. Let's change our age to 17. You've probably been driving already. And let's do something. Let's change our age to 16.5. What do you think it's going to do? I changed it to 16.5. Well, it's going to do else because it's not exactly 16. It's greater than 16. You've probably been driving already. And it's true, just not for very long. So please keep driving safely. So that is if else statements. So now go ahead and write maybe another program where you prompt, you get something from a user, and do something fun with it. So have a great day and enjoy JavaScript lesson number two.